a lot of women, when they probably hear the word mammogram, it feels a little anxious, but they're not something that you should fear. Why is that? Well, this is the one great life-saving tool available to us for detecting breast cancer. And I'm always sad when I hear this, a lot of fear and anxiety, and I usually query patients, why, is, why are you so nervous? And there's a variety of peop reasons people can be nervous, from the results to the, oh, it's going to hurt, but this isn't your mother's or your grandmother's mammogram. Techniques have improved, equipment has improved, there are the paddles for compression, take some of the discomfort out of the process. We try to respect a woman's privacy and she's not standing uncovered out in open public. So all the things that fret women, we can deal with the physical challenges. In truth, most screening mammograms are okay. They are so important too, so women need to make sure that they're following up on everything. What is the typical schedule that women need to be paying attention to? We follow the guidelines of the American College of Radiology and the Society of Breast Imaging, which for average risk women, there are no women at low risk, we are all average or high risk, um, it is to begin having annual screening mammograms at age 40, and that yearly mammogram is important. The American Cancer Society has made changes in their guidelines, but in truth, reviewing all the scientific literature, the most lives are saved by doing yearly mammograms beginning at age 40. Women at higher risk may need to start earlier, so we want to continue finding breast cancer when it can be treated, and when you have options of different treatments. If you find things when you can feel them and they're the size of a grapefruit, your options are less than if it's the size of a pencil eraser. So if someone is coming in here and they are feeling a little bit nervous or not sure of what to expect, what do you tell your patients? Um, this is a brief moment in time and it's worth the investment in your health and women tend to put themselves behind everyone else and this is the one area where you need to think about yourself first and look at it as just part of maintenance. And the earlier? Earlier the better. More choices, better outcomes.